Hi, my name is Dr. Agnes Puro. I'm a professional pediatrician based in Poland. Today I'm starting my YouTube channel. I want to bring to you the fascinating world of medicine in a fun and easy way so that especially children can understand it. If you want to see what I prepared for you, just keep on watching. If you like this video, please consider to subscribe and like. I want to spread the knowledge worldwide and this will be very, very helpful. One more thing, for disclosure, every cartoon character, every animation and all the medical context behind it is made up by me, of course, and my kids sometimes. If you want to see more, I have a website. I'll put the link in the description box. So if you want to check it out, please have a look. And right now, let's get started. On the first episode, I want to show you all my medical tools. I know, it doesn't sound interesting when I put it that way. Usually when children come to me and I uh, do the examination, they are so afraid because something scary and not known is coming very close to them, especially me. So I thought it would be easier for you to cope and go through the visit if you know them better. So I thought maybe I would show you all my medical tools as Dr. Pural's toys. Let's have a look. The first one is also my favorite. Please meet my elephantoscope. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard me. Elephantoscope. This is a stethoscope that behaves like an elephant. Mine is even blue like this one here. Doesn't he look funny? They are very similar. As you can see, there's nothing scary. A stethoscope is used to auscultate your heart, your lungs and your abdomen. I need to put the earpieces into my ears so that I can hear everything and the chest piece needs to be placed on the patient's body. This way I can hear the sounds that your body produces. Scales for newborns for me looks just a little bit like a turtle. At least the shape seems similar. You put a baby on it and the small screen shows us what's its weight. It's very important to observe small baby's growth. Scales for older children for me is similar to a giraffe. Nothing scary about that. You just need to put your feet on these marks and this long neck will tell us how tall are you. It's important to constantly check your growth in time. An otoscope. This one seems sometimes scary at the first glimpse, but when you realize it's just a small penguin waving at you, it's starting to be funny, especially that you can change its beak. An otoscope is just a special lamp with magnifying glass on the other side. I change this tip for every patient. It is used to examine your ears. We need this special lamp for this because your ear is small and dark inside. A pulse oximeter. You may already know this guy here. This is a pulse oximeter. When you put your finger inside of it, it will show us how much oxygen with every breath goes into your blood. And although it looks just like a crocodile, I promise it won't bite you. A sphygma manometer. That's a difficult word. When you look really closely, you can imagine it's a jellyfish like I did. A manometer is built out of a cough that needs to be placed around your arm. It's connected with a clock-looking thing and a balloon. To measure your blood pressure, the doctor puts the stethoscope on your elbow bend, then takes the balloon and pumps it. What happens is that the cuff on your arm inflates and the pointer on the clock goes up and starts to jump. During air flowing out of the cuff, I can hear the hard sums 
I have to read the number that the pointer is showing and I can tell you how high your blood pressure is. tape measure. I know this piece doesn't look very medical, but trust me, it is used quite a lot during an examination of a newborn. To check the growing steps of a baby, I measure its head and chest circuit. And the best tool for this is a simple tape measure. It looks a little bit like a snake, don't you think? An electronic thermometer. Last but not least, we all know this guy very well. It's a thermometer. This one is electrical, so it needs batteries to run. And it works thanks to a special light. It measures your body temperature from a distance. I imagine it like a chameleon, because it changes colors depending if you have fever or not. Usually red means too high but the color can be different on your device. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider to like and subscribe to this channel. This way I keep on introducing to you new medical topics. I had so much fun filming this. Thanks for watching and I see you on the next one. Bye!